Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to solve one problem that is based on single plate clutch. And here we are going to consider these both theories. In the previous problem we have discussed only one theory uniform here. In this problem we are going to apply this both theory. So let's see first of all the description. An automobile single plate clutch here you can see consist of a pair of contacting surfaces. The inner and outer diameters of the friction plate are 120 and 250 mm respectively. The coefficient of friction is 0.25. The total axial force or you can say axial thrust is 15 kN. Calculate the power transmitting capacity of the plate clutch at 500 rpm. Using both this theory, uniform pressure theory as well as uniform wear theory. So let's write first of all the given data in symbolic notation. Here it is given to you a single plate clutch consists of a pair that means n is equal to 2. The inner and outer diameters that means d1 and d2. Next, the coefficient of friction that means mu. Total axial force that means w. Calculate the power transmitting capacity that means P is equal to question mark. At 500 rpm, so N is equal to 500. Now you know that power transmitted by the clutch that is P is equal to 2 pi nt upon 60. This is the common formula. By using this equation you can find the power. But we don't know the value of T. So again you know that. T is equal to N into mu into W into Rm. You have to remember this equation in case of clutch. Now here mu and W both are the known parameter. But you don't have the Rm. But again you know that there is a formula to find the Rm. Now this equation that is for the uniform pressure theory. And this one is for the uniform wear theory. So very simple here we are going to find the power transmitting capacity by using this both theory. So we have to find Rm by using this both theory. So that you can find the torque and then you can put it over here so that you can find the power by using both theory. So first I am going to find the Rm that means the mean radius by both the theory uniform pressure theory and uniform wear theory. So now put the value over here. So 2 by 3 as it is R1 that means D1 by 2 and R2 that means D2 by 2. Simplify it so that you will get Rm is equal to 96.3 mm according to uniform pressure theory. Now put the value of R1 and R2 over here and simplify it so that you will get Rm that is 92.5 mm by using uniform wear theory. So I am going to write Rm for both this theory. Once you have the Rm, then definitely you can find the torque. So first I am going to find the torque by using the uniform pressure theory. So put the value n is equal to 2, mu is equal to 0.25, w that is given to you 15 kilo newton. That's why here you can see it is 15,000 Newton. So keep in mind here it is kilo Newton. So you have to put in this equation always W is in Newton. Rm that means the mean radius according to uniform pressure theory that is 96.3. Simplify it so that you will get the torque in Newton into mm. Again you can convert from Newton into mm to Newton into meter by simply dividing 1000. So this is the torque by using uniform pressure theory. Now I can find the torque by using the uniform wear theory. So again put the value over here. N is equal to 2. Mu is equal to 0.25. W that is 15,000. And Rm that is 92.5. Now simplify it. So that you will get torque in Newton into mm. Convert it in Newton into meter by dividing 1000. 
So this is the torque by using uniform wear theory. Now it is very simple to find the power. So now you have the torque. So you can apply the equation power P is equal to 2 pi and T upon 60. Now first by using the uniform pressure. So put the value in this equation. So 2 pi as it is N is equal to 500. T is equal to 7 to 2.25 according to uniform pressure theory. 60 as it is. Simplify it so that you will get the power that is in watt always. So this is the first answer. Power transmitted capacity by using uniform pressure theory. So make a box. Now next power transmitted again the same formula but now by using the uniform wear theory. So again put the value but here T that is 693.75 because of this is the uniform wear theory. Simplify it so that you will get the power in watt. So this is your second answer power transmitting capacity by uniform wear theory is this one. So make a box. So it is really very simple. If you have any doubt then write in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.